Okay, so the auto crafter is in the new snapshot that I'm not running at the moment. And I haven't messed with it with running snapshots and stuff in a while, so I'm not sure if it's gonna crash the game or make me have to make a new world or not. So for right now I'm just gonna go without the auto crafter. Which I mean I kind of was hoping to log in and make one and Four that way. Three this way. And use up this leather to quickly make like, you know, if I died or something in the nether and I needed to get a crappy suit of armor really fast, I just go over and hit the button and it turns all of that leather into... Um, just a full suit of leather armor to run through the nether with. To hopefully, maybe, possibly get back some of my stuff, maybe. Oh, and I did figure out how to turn cheats on. You got to open the world, open to LAN, click allow cheats, and then click start LAN world. And then it gives you access to the commands to redo stuff, so what I did was I replaced my spider spawner. Because that was kind of unfair that, you know, I had the... I mean, for one, it's right here by the base. And I would not have dug down there had I known that's where I was digging, too. But it is cheating. I did cheat the spider spawner back in there, but I mean I had this nice uh, spider killing sword, which I should probably put like a light switch or a collector, I should probably put a collector for the spider spawner so that way I can just leave it running the whole time and it'll only spawn spiders and collect spiders. And I can go chop them with the sword. And if I put a light on there. So, how do I make a light? Lamp. So that should be 10 for each one. 
I only stack in 16. Thank you. 
Yeah. Just having the three types of auto cookers fueled by lots of lava buckets makes me pretty happy. Just thinking back to how I had to cook with like my original wooden tools and stuff and like just small amounts and having to cook charcoal and stuff.
spiders. Perfect. Let me get my spider chopping sword here.
Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh. Jeez. So the baby cow filter works. And them getting stuck on the stationary piston has been what the problem has been the whole time. And jump in that rain soaked bed. And granted, it doesn't work perfectly, but it works well enough. I mean, I, I got pretty much every baby cow out of there. And no adult cows can make it through, but it works. It's my best version of a baby cow filter that I've made yet because it makes no sense to kill a baby cow. It's a waste of wheat, it's a waste of time putting together the farm, running the farm, the wheat farm, and then just even further a waste, like, to end up killing the baby cow. Because you don't get any XP and it's just a waste of wheat. Whereas otherwise, if you had waited, you would have gotten XP and meat and leather out of it. And I was thinking if I filter out the baby cows as I feed them, then when it comes time to, you know, call the herd, I mean, the easiest way is to just leave them all in the one pen, because then you don't have to move them at all. And you just keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them until there's just so many cows that... And if you wait again, like, they'll all turn into adult cows, so you don't have to worry about filtering out the baby cows. But if you have to filter out the baby cows, this is... This seems like it is the way to do it. I mean, I'm sure that there must be other ways to do it. Then I was thinking about, like, putting, like, lines of fence gate. Like, every two blocks inside this thing, so then I could run and make sure that only these cows got fed. Because if they can't get from one line to the other line, or at least easily, Whereas I could run to the end or to the middle or something. It should stop them from bunching up when you try to... When you try to... Beat them. For XP. The other thing I was thinking about too... Is if I set up like a tunnel... Like this... Or if I stood there and like just fed the cows as they went past, it would deposit them at the other end so I would only ever get cows that I hadn't fed yet. And then by the time I start to get cows, that's actually a really good idea. Then as I start to get cows, because seeing how this works, that works pretty good. I don't really want to have to rebuild it or the circuitry or anything else, so... I guess what I could do... What I also... Oh, crap. Now I'm stuck in here. Like, I also don't want to... mess with this too much, because it works pretty good. And if I try to change it at all, I'm gonna end up... probably messing it up. I could add a second one coming off here, going out that way, and then looping back around, 
using uh, one-way blocks with fence gate with water on the other side so they as they jump over they can't get back over and then they get pushed by the water to the next one I mean the easiest way is I was talking about doing it before is if I had a soul sand thing that sucked the cows up because I've done that before the problem with that is they have a tendency to drown because they fight the water current doesn't always work that great and just because they don't want to end up accidentally clogging it and drowning a bunch of cows doing something like this would probably work pretty good So like if I came out just like this, about eight blocks, and then had another tunnel with another piston hooked up to that timer and that piston, so I could just turn that on, you know, whenever I turn this on. And then it would go out about that far, come down this way, and then drop the cows off over here and spit them back out into the pen. So since the cows bunch up against the other cows, that would mean that I would only ever get, I mean, I might miss some, but the ones that I don't miss, I mean, it'll push the baby cows along with the adult cows as they get fed. And I'll only ever have, I'll only ever feed the ones that as they go by, they haven't been fed yet. Unlike the big clump in here or putting a fence gate in there. So basically I just sit there and spam the wheat button and uh, the cows go by. They get fed and make more cows and I'm not sure how the XP would collect. They'll probably get bunched up in that first section. Which means if I either stand right there where the XP collects, that means that, that that'd be something I'd have to test to see. But having that many cows and trying to feed that many cows, you end up running through and spamming it. And then the two cows that are trying to like get together end up being too far out you know too space too far out and like yeah and as you can tell i am not in a hurry to make it to the end this is not a speed run this is a lazy like it's kind of like a slice of Minecraft survival solo life. And that's part of the reason that I really like to play Minecraft is unlike a lot of other games, like if you take TF2 for example, it's just fundamentally like just a completely different experience despite it just being colored lights and pushing the same buttons that you push on other games. It's truly, Minecraft is really like the do-what-you-want simulator. And the nice part of that is sometimes you can just stare and look at the stuff that you built. Same, same kind of feeling of satisfaction from Satisfactory. Whereas like with TF2, like you spawn and die and spawn and die and spawn and die and spawn and die. And when you spawn like, you know, on two fort or something, you run out, you're trying to play scout, trying to like, it's complete change of pace. Like everything, like everything all the time compared to, you know, things are moving so 
so much slower that you uh, have a tendency to forget what you're doing. At least I do. Mm -hmm. I didn't really need experience, I just wanted to test it without it being completely and totally full. No, but it works great, and it gave me the idea to put in the cow feeder circulator. That's that's gonna be kind of fun because I've never done it before. Gonna probably run into a few issues as I do it. I mean, the other thing that I'm thinking of is if I stand up top with the wheat and I open up the gate or the doorway or whatever to allow them into the soul sand thing to raise them up a level. I mean, it would make it easier to make the drop down with the water because you go, what, seven blocks and drop down and seven blocks and drop down and then seven blocks and drop down. The freaking video capture thing is getting weird. Could also be the garbage collection thing or whatever in Minecraft. But I got my spider spawner put in and fixed. I had to cheat the block back in, but I mean that's a really like that was a really not smart thing of me to do. It's like I mean it is a legitimate mistake that I was digging around in here and then dug down into the spider spawner thinking it was just a, a cave or a pocket of darkness that had like a handful of monsters in it. I really didn't expect that it would be that close like going all the way down here and then back up over here like I didn't make the connection that no it's right here right here is my spider spawner. I'm thinking as I'm jumping down into the hole, I hear zombies, I hope there's not a creeper. I turn around, there's a creeper, can't get away from it, can't chop it. And then, pow, and there goes the freaking spawner. And it's totally, like, it's lame that I cheated it in. But I mean, that's totally not fair. I mean, for me to get this lucky and pick this spot and have a spider spawner right there to get, like, spider eyes from it, or maybe a handful of XP if the cows are on cooldown, on a feeding, or, you know, trying to build the numbers back up to run the, the dropper portion or something, like, but, yeah, I think I'm going to start using one of those books. At least as a to-do list. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm clicking the button right now.